I'm ready to get started on putting this together. I already unpacked everything, laid it all out on my temporary work table here. I figure the best way to do this is to lay out all the parts where I can identify them quickly and then start putting the sub-assemblies together over on my workbench. I've run into a problem already putting the wheels together. I got the first 20 put together and I'm supposed to have six of the shim washers left over and I've only got five. So this is the kind of thing that would stop you in your tracks. I don't know why they wouldn't throw in a couple of extras there. But I've only got five, but I do have these small 3 16 inch washers that are very close in thickness. I've measured them and they're about eight thousandths thicker than the one I have. So what I'm going to try to do First thing I need to do is drill the hole out a little bit bigger and then I need to try to file these down or file this one down enough that it will work in the wheel set. Now I don't know how precise these have to be. They say precision one millimeter spacers so I'm not going to take a chance. If I was a little bit more familiar with the machine I would you know be able to work with it but making this took 15 minutes it's 15 minutes that is a little bit aggravating because I mean it's just a washer they could have put a couple more in and really for something like that for a part like that you really should include one or two more just in case somebody loses one the next step according to the instructions is to put together the idler wheels in the same way okay the wheels are all assembled now I need to move on to the next step which is um, I'm not sure. Carriage assembly. There we go. Okay, it says this step is the bulk of the work required to assemble your machine. There are two different styles of plates that we will be assembling. The first style includes a stepper motor. There are three of these plates total and they will be used to drive both your X and Y axis. I should have actually printed this off because I don't like working from a screen. I like working from paper. I guess that's what I'm used to doing. Uh, next step is to attach the stepper motors as they just get screwed onto the thing as close to the top as possible it looks like. Now before I go any further it says that I should attach the terminal blocks and then it says to use screws and I look for the screws but they're not included with the thing and it's noted further down that they're not. So I happen to have some small screws that I'm going to use to install it with. I don't want to use zip ties. I'm uh, working on the Z assembly carriage right now. I need the motor plate, which is right here. Eccentric nuts, which are right here. V wheels, got them. Bolts, got them. Washers, hex nuts, got them. This is the second day of the build. I can't say yesterday was a full day because I did a lot of running back and forth between here and my house to do other things, but um, I'll give you my impressions at this point. I've got several of the sub-assemblies put together and including this one, which is really difficult to do. I almost lost some of it and I put some of it together wrong to begin with. The quality of the parts and the design seems to be pretty good. You know, it all goes together well. It's all well thought out. The only obstacle, the only problem I'm having is following their instructions on the online thing here, which move around quite a bit. They're not as linear as I would like to see. Don't show in the pictures the level of detail that I would like to see. They've got a, an exploded view of some of the subsections that really could be bigger and a little bit more detailed or broken up into two or three actual blow-ups, you know, exploded views. I really didn't want to but we're going through a bit of a cold snap here 
and it's way too cold outdoors for me to heat my workshop up to a comfortable temperature to do this kind of work. It's different if you're building something bigger, you know, you're moving around, but this involves a lot of standing, so I had to move it down here. Up to this point, I've been following the instructions, but I found a really good video that Inventables put online here, and I'm going by that from now on to try to get the rest of it put together.